My name is Lord Inderjit Singh. I am Vice Chair of the All Party Parliamentary Group for International Freedom of Religion and Belief. And uh, I am very concerned about what has been happening in Iran in recent years. Sikhs and the Iranian people always had close links. Some of our scriptures are written in Farsi. Um, there, there is much in common and there was a thriving Sikh settlement in Tehran. Um, all that disappeared with the uh, entry of the Ayatollah regime, the um, violent regime that resulted in the killing of many people and brought oppressive government to Tehran. There's been um, growing unrest, brutal repression and uh, it's become a very paranoid regime, ready to arrest anyone and imprison anyone who um, dares to dissent. And there's been torture, there's the imprisonment and the new charges against the um, um, lady, um, Mrs. Radcliffe. She is suffering. But so are other communities, all other communities are suffering. In their oppression is not only against other communities, it's against Muslims, and it is wrong. The Kurds, um, Arabs, whoever dares to voice anything different or have a different outlook on life, they're all, in, um, they're all repressed. The economy is in a total state of collapse. Wages aren't being paid for weeks and weeks on end and whatever is paid is very low compared to um, international salaries and payments. On the 30th of April, Amnesty International published a report on the disappearances and extra, uh, extrajudicial killings. Um, not a, a recently, but also going back to the terrible events of 1988, when there were thousands of disappearing, disappearances and mass murders. Um, it, it is really sad that Iran, Iran, which had so much history of um, culture and tolerance and respect for others, is going downhill that way. There's a glimmer of real hope in the democratic opposition of the NCRI, led by Mariam Rajavi. Um, it, it, the, I've seen the 10-point plan um, for democratic reform and democratic government that has been uh, put together. And it is a blueprint not only for people of Iran, for many other communities, how we can have democratic government that re um, respects all religions. We want to get away. I would like to see Iran get away from a theocratic state to a democratic state where all religions are not only uh, tolerated but actually respected. Because that is where Iran started. It was a cultural center for the world. I am really looking forward to this gathering on the 30th of June where people from um, this country and other countries, MPs, peers, will all come together to support this move towards democratic government. And I'm sure that the function will go really well. I want to end up by saying we should never forget that repression of 1988. Sikhs remember that um, repression because we had similar repression in 1984 Sikhs in India. And um, it, it, they, these are real tragedies. And I hope that this gathering on the 30th of June helps us move and shows that we can move in a much better direction for Iran. I really look forward to it.